fast forward uh, to 2008, um, one of my best friends and one of the co-founders of Elevated Thought and the visual side of things, Alex J. Bryant, who was a senior at UMass Dartmouth, and I was getting my finishing my undergrad at Salem State, and um, he was doing a mural for a senior project, and it was called Sorrow in the City, and he asked me to do a spoken word piece for it. And on one side of the mural, there was a loose depiction of John Coltrane, he's playing the saxophone, his music notes were flowing in and out of a loose depiction of Lawrence, uh, a city that we weren't, um, weren't from, but a city that we so frequently went to, whether it's because of basketball, you know, I used to film him um, doing his doing his street art. Um, so we often came through these streets, and you know, I went to Central Catholic, so I was familiar with the city. Um, and they 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 were flowing, and it was really dark, ready, and ominous. But there was glimmers of hope, and it flowed to the other side of the mural, and it was a young woman. She was crying, and one of the tears formed the word "why." Why is there so much sorrow in the city? Why is, you know, injustice never ending, unceasing? And so we started to have this conversation. I was writing my piece. We had some other people in there. And then, you know, I lifted my head up and I was like, well, I mean, we could do this. I mean, as small as we are, as minuscule as we are, um, we could do our part. We could do it through art. We could, you know, present this beauty. Um, address social issues, uh, demand answers, and if nobody gives them, we can create solutions ourselves. I lifted my head up and I said, yo, this is the elevated thought right here. And that was in 2008, um, and it stuck, and we progressed. I got my master's degree at Leslie University and had a partnership at the time with the Anti-Defamation League in Boston. They asked me to write a social justice curriculum. Um, so I did, and I infused art as well and was able, able to pilot it with Alex and that how, that's how Creative Community Change, our C3 uh, Youth Empowerment Program was born, uh, which is the culmination of our mission and you know, became official father of 1C3 in, in 2010 and here we are.